you got the Jace Planeswalk deck and played it. It's a lot of fun playing Merfolk. Now you want to upgrade it so it's more challenging. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Jace Planeswalk deck right now. Reaching and teaching young mages of all ages. Welcome young mage, I'm Rhino. Before we get started, tell me who is your favorite Planeswalker deck in Standard. I would like to know for my upcoming videos. Just put in the comments below. The purpose of the Jace Planeswalker deck is to make Merfolk keep pumping them out and let their synergies make them bigger and unblockable. So let's see what we took out to make this better. Deep Root Warrior. This guy is okay. He's a 2-2 two, two for 2 that becomes a 3-3 three, three when blocked. I'm sure we can do better. Jace's Sentinel. This works pretty nice with Jace, but Jace doesn't come out that often in this deck. So he is only a 1-3 blocker in the early game. Headwater Sentries, a 2-5 for 4. This is an okay blocker, but we need something with bigger teeth. Jade Guardian, this guy is pretty cool. He can come in as a 3-3 with Hexproof for 4, but that's a 3-3 on turn 4, and I don't think he will be big enough. Air Elemental, a 4-4 with flying for 5, this one was a tough call. You know I like flying for its invasion abilities, but I think we may want to try a different type of invasion. Unblockable. I also took out two Castaways Despair and one River Herald's Boom. We will need the slots for some other spells. And that's it. Now for the upgrades and starting with the land. No changes other than taking out four basic land in favor of two Evolving Wilds and two extra slots for other spells. I think they should put Evolving Wilds in Planeswalker decks by default. They are an easy way to do mana fixing. We want this deck to be a bit faster. So I added two Narnum Renegade. A 1-2 Death Toucher for one is great. And if another permanent left the battlefield before you cast it, it's 2-3 Death Touch for one. Nasty. We want to be able to cast things more quickly and Chandler Initiate helps us with mana fixing. It allows us to have the extra mana we need and as it's doing it, it gets bigger and bigger. So later in the game, she's not making mana, but attacking. Deep Root Champion and goes in place of the Deep Root Warrior. This guy can get big really quick. We added more spells to help pump him up. We added an extra Shaper's Apprentice so we can have an extra flyer on the board. Add an extra Vine Shaper Mystic so we can add those extra counters. Add an extra Herald of the Secret Streams so our creatures with one encounters can't be blocked. And add an extra Tempest Caller so we can tap all of our opponent's creatures and swing in for a lot of damage. Now for the spells, we only added two. We add in three Blossoming Defense this is an incredible card. It's a surprise combat trick or surprise defense trick. And giving a creature hexproof is really nice against burn spells. We also added two chart the course. This can give us some card draw, especially if we attack that turn. 
card draw is very important in longer games. And that's it for the additions. Take a look at the mana curve. We have changed it from a slow deck to a more aggressive deck. It also has a lot more synergy between the creatures. That's a decent first upgrade. This deck can be upgraded with cards you can easily find or trade. There are some extra upgrades you may want to look at if you have the cards. The first is adding the Botanical Sanctum. It's what everyone calls a fast land. If you have it in your opening hand, you don't have to worry about which color mana to put out first. You have them both in one card. If you don't like the idea of milling half of your opponent's deck with Fleet Swallower, you can change it out for a Cryptic Serpent. And if you have Jace Cunning Castaway, he will be great in this deck. Swap him out for one of the creatures, but keep Jay's ingenious mind mage in the deck. And one more thing, when Rivals of Ixalan comes out, there will be some nice cards in that set that add into this deck. Don't think that this is the end of upgrade possibility. What do you think of this upgrade? What would you change to make it better? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Just hit that rhino down below. And don't forget the bell notification so you don't miss anything. These videos are possible because of my sponsor, Fire Cannon Games, and my junior's patrons. Check out the videos on the side, they may interest you. I have more videos coming out soon. So, until then, Rhino out.